Hey guys, how's it going? This is Khan, and welcome to episode 98 of Good or Garbage, the number one place where you can find out what stuff is being sold in the division on a weekly basis. Thank you guys for 98 weeks of support, holding it down for your boy, and always shouting out that this is the best place to find out what is being sold in the division every week. So if you didn't notice, the video is a little bit shorter, and that is because thanks to your recommendations, the uh, good roll garbage gear score and the placeholder gear stuff has kind of been pushed out and maybe moved a little bit into the uh, heads up section in the description below. Uh, remember that we have timestamps, so if there's something in particular or something you'd like to know, take a look in the description, look at the timestamps, and you can go ahead and travel to uh, whatever it is that you're looking for, and then you can look down in the heads up section for anything that uh, you may be looking for that's special. Let's go. Uh. All right, now let's move on to the attachments for this week. Over at the Grindhouse, if you've been looking for an extended magazine, now is the time to go over and grab one. There's one being sold with 120.5 magazine size, 3% crit hit chance, and 4% crit hit damage. I think I'm going to retool and restock uh, on some of these. Uh, I got four slots that I can buy, but I think I'm going to probably uh, put these into my weapons and buy some more. If you need these, definitely go and pick them up. I'm going to pick up one, two. I'm going to max this out. Three, four. I can't pick up anymore, but I'm going to buy some more right after this. So definitely go over to the grindhouse and pick it up. All these people trying to get in the way, uh, but that's not going to stop me from buying, and it shouldn't stop you either. Go for it. Go to the grindhouse. Go get that. At the advanced weaponry vendor, we have a loud vent break being sold. This one with 17% critical hit damage, 2.5% critical hit chance, 5.5% headshot damage, and 43% increased threat. Now, generally, I would recommend uh, that you pick up the 19% critical hit damage versions. Uh, if you can't do that, then definitely go ahead and do so. But if you have not picked up one of these and you've been looking for one and you just want to test it out uh, as a little bit of a placeholder, then you can go ahead and grab that at the advanced weaponry vendor in the base of operations. Now let's go take a look at this week's gear mods. In Camp Clinton at the special equipment vendor, there is a prototype mod with 4% sticky bomb damage. So if you are trying to run that sticky, um, there you go. Go get that 4% sticky bomb damage, grab a bunch of them and stack them up. But they will cost you 192 Phoenix credits. At the cavern, there is a 6% first aid ally heal being sold. If you are looking for this kind of mod uh, for one of your builds, either a reclaimer or if you just want to heal your teammates and you're not using reclaimer, but maybe you're using something like final measure and you're uh, the healer, then you can go ahead and check this out over at the cavern. 6% first aid ally heal. Go check it out. Now let's take a look at the 280 to 283 gear score items. In the dark zone at East 58th Street Vendor, uh, there is a 280 gear score Enduring Mass being sold with 970 armor, 1,206 firearms, 11% exotic damage resilience, and 14% increased kill XP. Now, if you are new to the division or if you've never used the Enduring Mass, this mass will continually give your health kind of like how Nomad does, but only when you hit that last segment of health, and it will only go until the last segment of health. It won't won't go into the second or the third uh, segment so if you are looking for something like this you can try it out uh, it works pretty well for the dragon's nest and with 11 percent exotic damage resilience that will help you against that fire so if you are having trouble with dragon's nest this could help you out a bit if you don't have a full nomad set if you are going to pick it up leave a comment down below let me know and yeah check it out at the cavern, we have a 281 gear score rapid chess piece. This chess piece comes with 1,986 uh, armor. It also comes with 1,259 firearms. And then it comes with rapid. Rapid decreases the cooldowns of your skills by 15%. This could be very, very helpful if you are running some kind of skill build and you want your skills extra fast or if you don't have that much uh, skill haste or skill power and you want to get your skills back even faster. Now the other thing that complements this is it comes with 9% skill haste to go on top of that. And it also comes with 5% enemy armor damage and 
50% ammo capacity. Not a bad chest piece, I would say. Uh, at 281, not too bad, but not too many people are running yellow builds. But if you do want to try this out, go ahead over to the cavern and check it out. This week over at Camp Clinton at the Special Equipment Vendor, we have a few 280 plus items being sold. The first one we're going to look at is the Centurion with the 281 gear score. The Centurion, of course, goes with the Liberator. It's the pair couple. Uh, this one comes with a uh, competent. So if you are running skills, this could help you out. Uh, and yeah, you do have to use the sidearm to go with the Liberator. So having competent on it is not a bad deal. Now, the next thing we're going to take a look at is going Going to be the reclaimer mask this is a placeholder so it's 280 uh, it's coming in with 976 armor gear score is 280 uh, the firearms is at 1231 it comes with a pretty pathetic uh, all resist which is at 4% and then it comes with 15% blind death now the next thing we're gonna look at and the last thing here is the fire crest chest piece this one comes at a gear score of 282 it comes with 1993 armor and it also comes with 1269 stamina now this one uh, is a little bit better it comes with 5.5% enemy armor Armor damage, 5% health on kill, and 25% increased kill XP. Again, as I've always said, if this stuff is not declassified, uh, you're just going to use it for placeholder if you even use it at all. At the special equipment vendor, we have a 280 striker mask being sold. This is, of course, the standard version, not the classified. And with this, we have a 988 armor. We also have 1,184 electronics, 5% health on kill, and 14% increased kill XP. Now, with all of these gear set items, of course, you want to go for the classified. I'll say this week after week. So if you do not have the classified and you just want to have something as a placeholder, this is one that you can try out. But please, please, please do not invest any uh, division tech into any of these normal gear sets. They're really not worth it. Over at West 46th Street, we have a Gear Score 281 Tactical Super 90 shotgun being sold. This bad boy is coming with dominant, destructive, and talented in the third slot. So even if you don't have that much um, in the ways of skill power, you can still have talented and then you can have destructive. And then you can get rid of dominant if you want and put something a little bit more to the side of uh, firearms. So you could really and truly run a really high firearms build and still get the bonus of having talented where when you kill an enemy, you get 15% more uh, of your uh, skill power so if you don't have that much skill power then maybe this could help you out to uh, get a kill and then heal yourself and then have even more effectiveness with your heal just a thought so if you do need to go and check one of these out or if you do want to play around with it and see how it goes then head on over to west 46th street at the Dark Zone Checkpoint uh, Park Avenue vendor, there is a military M9 with a 281 gear score being sold, and this one comes with Talented. I'm a big fan of having useful skills on your sidearm that are just kind of to help you out in some kind of way, and Talented is a very good one to have, especially if you are running some kind of electronic spill. Now, killing a target with this weapon increases the skill power by 15% for 20 seconds, and the effect does not stack, with, uh, but with when you do kill a new target, the timer refreshes. If you are looking for some kind of sidearm uh, to help out your skill build, this is a pretty nice one to get. Um, the only thing that could, no, nah, nah, this is a pretty, pretty good one to get. So with the gear score of 281, yeah, definitely go and check it out over at Park Avenue. Over in DZ8, there is a gear score 281 Banshee chess piece with 1,932 armor and a whopping 1,271 firearms. And it also comes with 16,669 health and 9% skill haste. Oh, if this only could have been classified, this actually would be pretty nice. Um, now, the other thing about it is it comes with 25% increased kill XP. But again, alas, this is just a normal uh, Banshee chest piece. So, you know, you kind of use it as a placeholder if you have to. But yeah, I really wish this had been a classified. I'm sure a lot of people could find some use for it, even though Banshee isn't really doing that great in the classified section. But still, still a really nice roll. Now it's time to wrap things up in the 284 plus gear score section.
At the Special Equipment Vendor, we have a Gear Score 285 Tactical M1911, and this pistol is being sold and it comes with Predatory. Now, Predatory is a pretty nice skill to have. Uh, it will help you get 35% uh, of your health to regenerate over 20 seconds after you get a kill. Uh, if you're desperate and at the very end of, uh, of a, an engagement and maybe you just run out of bullets and you want to try and finish something off really quick, or if you want to use this for utility because you don't have predatory on some of your other weapons, this could be a nice little option to switch to, pop off really quick, get some health, and then go back to your main reload and keep it moving. Uh, give it a shot if you are looking for something like this. Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay guys, over at the Meat Locker, there is a 284 M700 Carbon being sold and this is as close to a God Roll as you're going to get without this being a 286. Now it's only going to require a little bit of Division Tech to max it out, so if you need this, definitely put a comment in the comment section and let me know. Give me a shot, shot me out and say thank you. Just say thank you, damn it. Uh, so here we go. We got an M700 Carbon with 160 69 headshot damage it also comes with deadly it comes with prepared and it comes with elevated this is for an m700 uh pretty much what you want uh deadly you can always swap out but having prepared and elevated is going to be uh basically what you really really want for this type of weapon and uh yeah it only costs you regular credit so if you are running some kind of a sniper build uh then you definitely should go ahead and pick this up you may want to pick up a couple and then swap out deadly for maybe some other the talents if you want to do that uh, i think you know what i have a really nice m700 carbon but you know what i think i'm gonna buy a couple of these and just kind of hold on to them and play with them uh shift around a couple things but yeah definitely go ahead and check this out this is my probably going to be my top pick for this week all right guys that is it for episode 98 of good or garbage uh really really just want to take this time to thank you guys for all of the support um it's just been really great to see the channel grow um if you are new be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe uh that always helps out um and yeah don't forget to hit that bell for the notifications so that you know when any of the new videos no matter what they are uh come up or when i decide to start live streaming if you're not familiar with the schedule or just in case i sneak in a live stream i did sneak in some stuff uh last weekend and i think i snuck in maybe i changed some things up this week because i was testing to find out why uh there was so much lag in a couple of the uh, streams from last week uh, and apparently, yeah, it's, it's kind of not my fault. Uh, there's maybe some issues going on with Restream, which is why this week I streamed to Twitch exclusively and I streamed to YouTube exclusively uh, with some of the Monster Hunter stuff. Uh, I did a five hour stream of Monster Hunter, I think on Tuesday or something, or well, one of those days, uh, it might've been Wednesday. And then uh, I did a, a nice three hour stream yesterday and uh, today I'm going to do some more Monster Hunter because, damn it, that game is pretty fun. Uh, if you guys are not even interested in it, that's cool. That's totally fine. But I am trying to, you know, change up some things. And I, I just want to enjoy gaming. And that's kind of what I'm all about. So thank you guys for all of the support. And uh, if you're only here for the Division, then I'll see you for the next Division video. I'm gone. Have a great weekend. Peace.